Hello, my name is Bennett Garfinkel. I'm neither an attorney nor a physician, but I'm the lead medical researcher and legal assistant to lead counsel Brian Wicklund here at the law firm Garfinkel Schwartz. I'm coming to you today from our Maitland office, a suburb of Orlando, Florida, here in Central Florida. One great thing about this area of law is that we will travel to you around the country. The fact that we're based in Florida is insignificant in, in relation to your case, which can be located from anywhere, from San Diego to Oklahoma to South Florida, anywhere. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how PTSD works in the brain. It's important to think of PTSD as the brain almost attacking itself. Now, when an individual goes through a severely traumatic event, there will be certain symptoms that you may be familiar with. Withdrawal, isolation, uh, quickness to anger, a lack of pleasure in activities that you once loved, like if you no longer get the same enjoyment out of sports, or if you don't enjoy going for walks, or if you can't even go to movies because of the loud noises or potentially triggering images. These can all cause intense anxiety nightmares, sleep deprivation. These can have a very, very, very severe effect on your affect, on your personal life, and especially on your family life. PTSD is not just a mental illness for the individual, but places an enormous amount of stress on the family. And it's not well understood exactly why post-traumatic stress disorder develops. But we do know some things in the brain about why exactly you might be experiencing these very, very troubling symptoms. There is an area in the brain called the hypothalamic pituitary and adrenal axis. Now, this axis is associated with arousal, with the ability to react quickly, and in traumatic situations, you have a flood of adrenaline going. And this adrenaline will trigger this HPA access to make the memories more pertinent in the brain. The memories will almost be indelibly etched into the memory center of the brain. And these can lead to symptoms such as flashbacks, such as a car backfiring and it's similar to a gunshot and you may have an anxiety attack. And for all of these reasons, it can be very, very debilitating and can be unexpected. You might be feeling one, fine uh, at one point in the day and out, absolutely out of nowhere, you'll have a severe anxiety attack or you'll be very, very quick to anger for no reason at all. One of our largest client bases is with private military contractors sent overseas to Iraq or Afghanistan. The Department of Defense is the largest employer in the entire world. And at least in 2011, there were only 145,000 uniformed troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, but over 150,000 private military contractors. These included logistics, translators, support, and security personnel. And the number of private military contractors has continued to grow while the number of uniformed military personnel has diminished. Now, the VA and the military has mechanisms in place to help soldiers deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. There are screenings, there are, there are psychiatric help available, there's psychological help available, but most private military contractors don't know that this help is available to them too under a law in, in the federal statute called the Defense Base Act. Now, if you have any questions, we urge you to call us and have a conversation with us. You can always speak to myself or lead counsel attorney Brian Wickland. If you are a, are a wife or a girlfriend of an individual that was sent abroad on a contract to support the U.S. troops in Iraq or Afghanistan or anywhere else in the world, 
we very much may be, may be able to help you. And it's always worth having a conversation with us just to see what help is available. One of my favorite part about my jobs here at Garfinkel Schwartz as a medical researcher and legal assistant is the conversations that I have not only with clients, but clients' families. Now, because I'm not an attorney and I'm not a physician, I can't give legal or medical advice. But I can help you in your process of researching treatments, finding physicians, or just giving personal advice of how maybe I would approach the situation from my own experiences here at Garfinkel Schwartz. My grandfather practiced this area of law for over 40 years, and with his insights and also the insights of Brian Wickland, our lead counsel here, we're able to have conversations with you that could prove very, very helpful. So we encourage you to give us a call, uh, an informal call, just a conversation to see if we could help you out in any way. Even if you don't end up signing up as clients with us, we're always very eager to talk with you because we're an advocacy law firm. We really believe in what we're doing. Again, my name is Bennett Garfinkel. I'm coming to you from our, our Orlando offices here uh, in Central Florida. We also have another office on the Space Coast of Florida in Cocoa Beach. Thank you very much.